What's going on guys? It's Harrison and Evan from the Wildlife Brothers. And today we're out here in one of our favorite local nature centers, taking a look at a very special species of frog, the American bullfrog. This is a species that we've been after all summer. It's actually coming to late July now, and finally we have one in hand. So let's take an up close look at the American bullfrog. All right, so there's a little American bullfrog right here. Actually, not quite so little. So I'm gonna see if I can grab a hold of them. Oh, there you are. Not out of the woods yet. There we go. Nice catch. Okay, so this is a female. All right. So here we have at long last the American bullfrog. And you heard me call this one out as a female and I'll tell you exactly how I knew that from a glance. If you take a look at her chin, you'll see that it's kind of a pale white color. Now one of the characteristic features of male American bullfrogs is that they have a yellow patch that runs along their entire chin. And that's one of the easiest ways to tell males and females apart. So this is obviously a sexually dimorphic species. Another thing that sets them apart is that the females will actually grow larger than the males. Now what's so cool about the American bullfrog is how big they get. These guys will reach about 40 centimeters, anywhere from 35 to 40 centimeters on average, with their legs fully extended. So they're very, very large frogs. And these guys can grow very heavy as well, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. They can actually reach to about 500 grams, which is around a pound. That's absolutely massive as far as frogs go. Now, these guys are distributed all throughout eastern North America, from parts of Canada down through Pennsylvania, all along the east coast of the United States, as far south as Florida. And they'll actually reach out west a decent ways as well, out to Texas and Oklahoma. They're a very widely distributed species, and they're found in a variety of freshwater habitats. This will include ponds, lakes, streams, even swamplands, basically anywhere with an abundance of fresh water. And that is exactly where we found this cute little girl. And again, little might be a bit of an understatement when you're looking at this species, although this is certainly not as large as they will get. One of the interesting things about the American bullfrog is that these guys are one of the most voracious predators that we get here in Pennsylvania. These guys do not discriminate when it comes to their prey items. They will take things like aquatic invertebrates, earthworms, snakes, smaller frogs even. They will eat just about anything that they can fit into their mouths. And you notice they have absolutely massive mouths which allows them to fit tons of different prey items for them to consume. Now, let's take a look at the positioning of her eyes and her nose. They're right there on the top of her head, and those serve a dual purpose. For one, that gives her great vision. She has a huge field of view, so she can locate any potential prey items as well as stay aware of predators. And with her nostrils being on the top of her head, that allows her to just poke her head out of the water, take a quick breath, and sink right back down without exposing a lot of her body, which is another tactic that she uses to protect herself from predators. Now, as Evan mentioned, they have that beautiful green coloration, which does serve as camouflage. When they're sitting down there in the duckweed, you can almost never find these frogs unless you know what you're looking for. And her legs are extremely strong and powerful, which allows them to jump very far, either away from predators or towards their prey. They are very, very powerful swimmers. I want to point out something really interesting about her anatomy. Let's take a look right behind her eyes. You guys see that little circle looking little mark there? Yeah. That is called her tympanum, and that is actually her ear. So those help channel sound and actually allow her to hear quite effectively. Now those tympanum are positioned in such a way that they allow her to detect any movement in the environment. And they do have a number of predators, even though the American bullfrog gets quite large. Large snakes will feed on bullfrogs, snapping turtles, great blue herons. There are some predators that would like to feed on a chunky little frog like this. So it's very good that she's evolved all of these adaptations to help her survive out here in the pond. The American bullfrog is a very abundant species, and in fact, they're listed as least concerned by the IUCN, which is great for us because this is a species that we love to see out here. Absolutely. The American bullfrog is an integral member of the ecosystem here in Pennsylvania and across their range. 
As one of the top predators, these guys are keeping all of the species in the trophic levels below well in check, which keeps the ecosystem balanced. And another great thing about these guys is that it's a species that's safe for you guys to try and catch. They can be pretty tricky to get a hold of because they're so quick, but they certainly pose no threat to humans. One thing we wanted to point out to you guys though, is if you are going to try and capture this species, make sure that if you do get a hand on them, to hold them by the legs like you see us doing. If you grab these guys by the body, you run the risk of squeezing their vital organs, which can do a lot of damage. So make sure that if you are catching bullfrogs in your local environment, make sure to hold them nice and safely. And as always when working with amphibians, be sure to keep their skin and your hands nice and moist so that way the oils on our skin don't interfere with their cutaneous respiration, which is otherwise breathing through their skin. Exactly, so between takes, we've been dipping this girl into the water to make sure that our hands stay wet and her skin stays nice and wet as well. So this is a species that we love to see out here in Pennsylvania, and it's really exciting for us to finally get this episode. All right, so we're gonna get this American bullfrog back out into the environment. She's been a great sport, and maybe we'll get a demonstration of how powerful those legs are. All right, little one. <laughs> that wasn't very climactic. It's always fun for us to be out here in the environment catching American bullfrogs. This is definitely an episode that we were looking forward to filming for quite a long time. This is one of the quintessential summer species that we always catch at this time of year. So it was really cool to get this adorable little female on camera for you guys. So if you did enjoy this episode, make sure to leave a like on the video and tell us in the comments down below if you have ever gone bullfrog hunting in your local environment. And as always, guys, we have exciting content coming from all over the map that you will not want to miss, so be sure you're subscribed to the Wildlife Brothers, and we will see you guys in the next episode.